we can close the the structure on the outside by doing a circular sweep of the two surfaces. A 90 degree rotation gives one corner and another 90 degree rotation gives the other corner. We can now connect these with a straight section of coil by a linear sweep again. And we've now completed the geometric aspect of making the model. So we've created a half model. We will use symmetry to model the other half. And we are done with the geometry and geometry modification section. Next we move on to the physics. And what we will do is to put material into the table. We will scroll down to pick a steel material and assign it to these two volumes. We will assign copper to the coil volumes, though strictly speaking this is not necessary. It does uh, add to the visual appeal of the model to do this, however. So we've specified the materials. We also need to specify the current flowing. And we will use the follow swept volume command in order to do this. This command will recognize the direction of sweeping surfaces that was performed in order to assign the direction and density of the current. So now we can look and see that we have current flowing through the coil. We have material assigned. The other thing we need to do is to tell the program that this is a symmetric model. We go to symmetry and periodicity setup and specify that the X is going to operate as an anti-symmetric plane. We call it anti-symmetric because the current flows in the opposite direction in the image. And you see the yellow condition applied to surfaces on the plane so that the solver will know that no elements are required there. We are now ready to solve the model. And if we change the viewing mode, we'll be able to see the elements more clearly. We press Solution Solve. And you see elements on the surface which are used to satisfy the steel to air boundary condition. And you also see volume elements in the coil that are used to direct the current flow. From here you can do post-processing in order to compute things like fields, forces, torques, flux linkages, and so on. So for example, we can ask for the force on a volume and obtain the force on the plate here. And you see by symmetry the force in the x direction is exactly zero. It's small in the y direction, but by numerical noise is not exactly zero. It's a, a thousand times larger in the z-direction, which of course by symmetry is the correct direction. We can also create a variety of plot types from the solved model. So we can, for example, make an arrow plot of the field. So we'll select arrows on plane, choose a fine density plot, and then select an appropriate plane where we want to see the magnetic field as an arrow plot. We can choose different displays of the geometry in order to match the type of plot that we're doing.